Lord, saints of God, great day to be alive. Woo! Excited about God. Amen. The world calls this hunk day. We call it victory day. You know that every week we say it. Amen. Riding the devil all the way to the weekend, baby, with total victory. Walking in total power because we are seeds of the living God. Amen. Got a victory thought today. Amen. Your secret weapon. God woke me up this morning, visited with me for a little while, began to tell me this is a new start, a new beginning, a new day. Praise God. God. I'm not talking about different church. I'm talking about my own personal life. God began to show me some things he was doing. Amen. The way God was getting ready to move in this town I'm living in now. Amen. I'm excited about it. Amen. But God showed me. Amen. That God's people's got to walk under the power of the secret weapon. Now, amen. And the greatest secret weapon we got, praise God, is our prayer life. Amen. The Bible said the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. I begin to think about that today availing much, what it accomplishes in your life, what it brings to pass in your life. Uh, baby, when you got a prayer life, a communication life, amen, it'll bring you to victory, it'll bring you to power. Uh, when you're on the main line with God, amen, it'll change your attitude, it'll take depression out of your life, uh, bring you to victories you ain't never lived in. Uh, amen, that's what's wrong with a lot of our churches, uh, amen, and houses, praise God, we become gossip places, uh, Facebook places, uh, amen, or text messages places. But God wants our houses and our churches to be called houses of prayer. Maybe a praying people is a staying people. A praying people to walk in revival. A praying people to see God move for their families. Change their neighborhoods. You want to walk in victory? Pray. You want to walk in power? Pray. You want God to send revival to us? Pray. Without communication, baby, you can't have no move of God. Without communication, you can't see God do great things. Hey, man, I was thinking about text message this morning. You know, God don't do text. God wants to talk to you personally. Amen. We text a lot. I'm not against it. I do it myself. Uh, but I realize one thing. Sometimes you don't get the real meaning of when you talk to somebody or how they really feel. You can't feel how they express it. Uh, you can't tell what their mood is or their feeling is uh, through a text. Uh, people can be bold through a text. They can be humble. Maybe they're not that way. Uh, but baby, God wants to be one-on-one. -on -one. Why? Because he wants to break your nature. He wants to break your attitude. If you humble yourself, pray and seek God. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face. He said, then I'll hear from heaven and heal their land. Uh, baby, you want to get out of your jail cell? You want out of your prison? You out of your prison? Amen. Look at Apostle Paul. Amen. Look at him in the midnight hour, baby. He began to pray and sing praises unto God. And God shook the jailhouse and brought revival. You know why? He had a secret weapon. Hey, but I tell people, I love people to read their Bible. I love people to fast. I love people to do things for God. But your prayer life is the most important thing you'll ever have in your life. Because you know why the Bible said, hey, man, you don't know what you have need of, but when you pray, your spirit knows what you have need of. It knows how to pray for you. It knows how to talk to God for you. It knows how to reach out for you. If you pray through your flesh, a lot of times you ain't going to get nothing done. Hey, man, if you try to fast, read your Bible, you might get deceived. But baby, when you pray and you seek God and you stay in communication with author, you're going to see God do great things. You want revival? Pray. You want God to move? Pray. Amen. You want to walk in victory? Pray. You want to see God bring deliverance? Pray. You want to live in victory, eat victory, talk victory? You got to pray. You got to have a communication. The preacher can't do it for you. Saints of God can't do it for you. Church can't do it for you. You got to learn to communicate. You've got to take your secret weapon. I know this ain't no deep message, but I'm going to tell you something. Maybe the church used to be a praying church. Amen. That's what's happening now. That's why they got the gossip and the bearing. Amen. And all this other stuff. That's why there's so much confusion and so many problems. Because I'm going to tell you something. Maybe when you're praying, you ain't going to gossip. When you're praying, you ain't going to raise hell. When you're praying, you ain't going to fight and fuss and cause problems. Uh, amen. And take vengeance and try to work your own problems out. A uh, praying people, baby, is a humble people. A uh, praying people is a people that's on top of the mountain walking in victory and power. I'm talking to somebody today. You got to get your prayer life back. When you used to pray, you had peace of mind. When you used to pray, you wouldn't depress. If somebody tells me they're depressed, they're in the valley, they're lonely, and they're all confused, they're all torn up, that lets me know right ahead. They're not praying, baby. Hey, Michael, when you're praying, talking to God, God's going to comfort you. When you pray in secret, God is going to reward you. And 
hope and you need your prayer life back. Amen. Churches don't need just another revival. They don't need just another Bible study, baby. They need some prayer meeting. Now, amen. They need some old time Holy Ghost. Get on your knees and talk to God till the heaven rings. We used to sing that song, Prayer Bells of Heaven. Oh, how sweetly they ring, bearing a message unto Jesus our King. You look at Daniel, baby. He prayed and God brought him out. Shadrach prayed and God brought him out. Daniel prayed and God brought him out. Moses prayed and God parted the Red Sea. David prayed with the giant. My God walked in victory and killed Philistines. A praying people is a winning people. You don't have to vengeance. You don't have to take your battle up. You don't have to fight with nobody. All you got to do is pray, baby. Put it in the hands of God. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It brings your life to completion. It puts everything into order. It puts everything into perspective. It keeps somebody saying, I can't help but go off. You ain't praying. I can't help. I got angry. You ain't praying. Hey, Amen. I can't help but I lost it. It's because you ain't praying. Woo! Baby, when you pray, Jesus got in the garden. Hey, Amen. That flesh wanted to rise up. He began to praise his sweat became his great drops of blood. He began to reach out, baby, walked out of that garden victorious. Looked at the disciples and said, couldn't you pray with me? Amen. Pray lest you enter into temptation. Pray because the storms are coming. Pray because the trials are coming. Somebody said, why did that storm get me? Why did that trial get me? Why did it take me down? Because you weren't praying. Jesus told the disciples, said, pray, let's enter into temptation. Amen. He knew the enemy was going to come, but if you are praying, baby, you're going to conquer it. If you're praying, you're going to overcome it. If you're praying, you're going to win the battle. Amen. Get your prayer life back. God's talking to some people today. It's time to pray. It's time to go back to talking to God. It'll change your nature, change your attitude. It'll change everything about you. Make you love people. Make you love your neighbor. Love your enemy. It'll let you realize God's working everything out. You can talk about it. You can call on the phone. You can try to work it out, but it ain't going to do it. But baby, if you go to pray and prayer, baby, of heaven. Oh, how sweetly they ring bearing a message unto Jesus our King. Well, when you're burdened down, you're troubled, you're discouraged, pray and baby, God will bring you out, take you to the mountaintop, whip your enemy, bring you to victory and answer your prayer request. You want victory and power and strength? Pray. You'll got move for you, pray. You'll got change the situation, pray. Quit calling everybody, talking about people. Say, oh, I gotta call and give prayer quick. No, you gossiping. Amen. Pray. Pray yourself. God will give you the victory. God won't reject you. He's waiting on you to talk to him. I know I'm not being mean today. Amen. I'm not trying to be anyway. But I want you to pray and talk to God and get the victory. Whip hell through the victory. Take the power through the victory. But you gotta pray. You talk to God and God will give you the victory, friend. God bless you. Hope you have an awesome Wednesday. Go to church, shout to me tonight. Pray today. Talk to God and walk in victories you ain't never walked in before. God bless you. Remember our victory thought always total victory comes when you believe God's in total control. God bless you. Have an awesome day in Jesus' name.